This episode is part of our Australian Pale Ale series. Today's beer is Colonial Brewing Co. Pale Ale. And welcome to Beer Australia Reviews. And today's beer that we're going to be having a go of is another Margaret River Pale Ale from this time from the Colonial Beer Co. And it's just called very simply Colonial Beer Co. Pale Ale. No fancy names this time round. Now Colonial um, was one of the first of the Margaret River microbreweries established as long ago as 2004. Now that's ages in Margaret River terms, but I mean in, in other parts of the world where we've had breweries around the place for like hundreds of years, it's a relatively new one. Um, but 2004 means it was one of the first ones. And um, it's one of these places in Margaret River where it's really worthwhile going and sampling some of the beers they always have like some of the um, like seasonal ales and things so that uh, each time you go they'll have a different selection of beers there plus also if you are on a wine tour stop off at the brew uh, at one of the brew pubs any one of them they're, they're all really good and have your meal there rather than having it at one of the um, fancy wineries which charge more and yeah the food ain't ain't always what you'd expect um, for the prices that you pay but when you go to one of the brew pubs like colonial then you get a much better meal just better value overall so um, we oftentimes when we're on a wine tour we'll stop off at one of the breweries and have our meal there rather than um, like at the more expensive like winery like i say okay now um now this is still uh, a, a relatively small company um, and it's still like an Australian owned independent place but they've expanded out a little bit now and they also have a brewery in Melbourne so they're they're going a little bit more mainstream with them uh, with their business now okay so from the website this one says that it's a mix of American and pale ale styles and on the can itself um, you can see it says like USA, Oz, uh, because apparently what they do is they have a mix of the hops. So some Australian and, and some American. I don't know whether or not they actually import the hops um, from America into Australia. Um, like some do, like Little Creatures uh, re uh, are reputed to bring their hops in from uh, the USA. Anyways, but have a look at the at the branding on this there's nothing there it's just a plain can with some writing on it so i'm hoping that they've put the effort into making the beer rather than into the marketing because that's just it, it's better it's it's genius to be honest all of the beers what they um all the canned beers what they do have a similar type of really basic um a single color with a single color writing on it and it, it works it, it it does the job um okay let's have a a read of what it says so apparently this one is a tropical tinged treat bursting with fruit aroma and piney resin oh, I'm not so sure about the piney resin smooth and approachable packed with aromatic hops brewed to linger on the palate not to overpower it okay what else does it say on the um, on the can it says colonial pale ale is brewed by people with a love of what they do uh, an everyday pale for everyday people. Uh, handmade beer by CBCS. Okay, so this all bodes well. Okay, now this actually will be the first time I've tried uh, this particular beer. I think I can't remember whether I've tried this one any time years ago. Um, the thing about Margaret River wine, uh, sorry, Margaret River. In beer remember Margaret River is the wine region the thing about Margaret River beer is they have access to really good quality water because they um, they store the rainwater that falls in their own dams in lots of the places um, so you're not getting the same sort of harsh water that you get in other parts of Australia so I, I do like the beers from Margaret River because of that re uh, reason also with it being a, a bit further south than like than Perth uh, they have a more temperate climate and um, beer is really a temperate climate product so you shouldn't really um, do beer in, in warm places to be honest but uh, but everywhere everywhere needs a brew pub 
So um, even in the hot places, you still need places that brew it locally. Okay, so let's have a try at this one and see if we get any of these tropical uh, fruity aromas and piney resins. Okay, so... Pale in colour. Quite a lot of fizz. Does not appear to be bottle conditioned. Oh yeah, I'm getting hints of stuff now already. Quite large bubbles. Oh, I've got a little bit of cloudiness. Okay, a bit of fizz on that one. Hmm, okay, so like quite a pale colour, which we expect from a pale ale. So the, the reason why these are called pale ales is because the type of malt that they use is called pale malt. So that's where pale ale gets its name from, is the type of the malt. So, hmm, okay, I'm getting some hints on this one. This one smells good. Let's have a go. Tropical fruits, yeah, possibly I'll, I'll give them some tropical fruits. Not as hoppy as some. Hmm, okay. Ah, not very sweet. It's uh, it, much on the drier side than some of the um, your pale ales. Hmm. It's quite dry on the tongue. This one. It's um. Uh, it's got a bit of fizz to it, but it's uh, it, it it's like it. It sucks the moisture out your tongue a little bit as you as you're doing it, so it's quite sharp. Um, on that one, a little bit of tropical fruits. There's um, there's like a uh, a sharp, um, as with a lot of pale ales, you get a, sh a bit of sharp grapefruits in there definitely. It doesn't mention grapefruits on the website though, so. So you get a lot of um, fizzy tang in this one. It's a bit like um, a tongue full of sherbet in in that one, but it, there's no sweetness in there at all. It's it's really dry. This one. Let's have a look at that. So, okay. Do you know? I think there might be a tiny little bit of cloudiness in this. Okay. Yeah, it's not completely clear this beer, and it's not just because the glass is yeah okay so we've got a bit of cloudiness so there, there may be a tiny little bit of um, conditioning in this one um can conditioning can't call it bottle conditioned in a can can we okay so um it's lost its uh, head now the head's like a uh, like a mid foam on this one not a very dense foam um getting some bubbles yeah okay so i'm not getting this one doesn't have a huge amount of aroma. Oh yeah, okay, so this one's um, very much a drier style pale ale than some. So uh, I'm getting some fruit in there, but it's not like overpowering. Um, I'm not getting any sort of, uh, what did they say that was inside this one? Um, well, it says it says tropical fruit aroma and piney resin. Is there any piney resin? I think there's a bit of piney resin. Mm. Okay, so this one is um, is dry and has a bit of a uh, tangy fizz on your tongue. Um, it's uh, I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit now at the back. Um, it's uh, it's lingering a little bit, but it's not overpowering. Some of the pale ales that you'll try have a, a really strong flavour and overpowering, and they stay, they linger a long time um, in the taste. Uh, this one's a little, a little bit of a lighter style. It's lighter in colour. Um, it's There's not much malt in there. It's not a malty beer at all. Um, it's really refreshing, though. It's... Um, if this is definitely a warm day beer. This is definitely a, a, a beer that you have after you've um, 
on one of those hot days when you get home and you've got one of these in the fridge this is an ideal um, warm day beer to cool you down um, it doesn't have bags of character it's not the most um, it, it doesn't have multiple different layers to it it's um, a bit of a simpler taste than some but uh, of itself what it is I, I really like it it's a nice beer um, I would be happy to go back to Colonial Boone Co in Margaret River and have a pint of this one on a warm day and I would uh, love to bring myself another six pack home so that was um, one of the best parts about the um, the Colonial is they have a fridge inside the the, uh, the brew pub and you can just mix and match I went into the fridge and I grabbed hold of um, six different beers and they just sold me a mix pack so it's um i like the flexibility of being able to buy like one of everything and try all the different beers so um how do i rate this one this one's it's it's a really nice beer i uh, i wouldn't say it's the very best of the margaret river beers um i i think i like the um uh, the uh margaret river brew house pale ale is probably my favorite out of all of the margaret river beers but margaret river beer overall is just really good uh, the water is good, the climate is good, the people who make it obviously put a lot of effort in. I particularly like this one, the fact that um, the uh, the quality has gone has gone into the beer itself and not into the advertising on the can because it's just a really basic um, design. So, yep, yeah, I, I recommend this one. It's a really nice beer. So, let me finish this one off. Thanks for watching.